So we've got uh, three of the big players that are in or, or called out in Ezekiel 38, all right here to the north of Israel. All right. We may or may not see Damascus disappear, um, but when you've got uh, Turkey already breaching the border and taking out strikes uh, inside of Syria using drones, um, things are starting to really, really heat up in the Middle East. Israel has renewed its warning for people in the northern half of Gaza to leave as it continues intense airstrikes across the territory. Troops are massed on the border with Gaza ahead of an expected ground incursion. The Israeli Defense Force say that they have struck over 100 military targets overnight and killed a senior commander. Militants have continued to fire rockets into Israel towards Tel Aviv and other areas in the south. There are 25 different titles That's for right. Antichrist That's in right. Revelation. 25? 25. He's called the man of sin, the lawless one. You can just go right through and and he is the most wicked, most awful person. I mean, take Hitler and Stalin and uh, Mao Zedong and all those people, yeah. wrap them all up to one and then multiply them and you won't even come close. And he's going to gain control of this world and everyone will be under his domination because if they aren't, they won't be able to function. Thank you very much, Mr. Issachara, for joining us. I think the cruelty of Palestinian terrorism is now at full display for the international community. And we only heard this week the United Nations Human Rights Council saying that yeah. the root cause of the conflict is illegal occupation rather than anti-Semitic barbarism committed by Hamas terrorists. And I think more and more people now, it's beginning to sink in more and more uh, around the world for people that the situation between Israelis and Palestinians has nothing to do with territory because Israel withdrew from Gaza, I remind you, to the 67 lines, to the last settler, to the last soldier, to the last grave. And still, the Hamas spokesperson Abu Abaida says we want to free our homeland and they send a thousand people to murder uh, 1,300 Israelis and abduct civilians. This is your border. This is Egypt. This is uh, the Gaza Strip. There are 300,000 IDF troops amassing around this area. They've killed power. They've shut off the supplies. Uh, they're going old school biblical stuff on them, like you're talking King David kind of thing, right? Now about proportionality. I think there's a big confusion about an international law. Uh, when, they, when it says proportionality, it does not mean that the number of killed people should be proportionate to the number of killed Israelis. That means that the target should be proportionate to the threat it poses. If a Hamas senior official who targets this attack, who's slain 1,300 Israelis, is hiding behind his family, it becomes a legitimate uh, military target. Now, this is Blinken making a comment just the other day. Secretary of State Blinken says Iran always used funds for terrorism. Hamas tells BBC they had Iran's direct backing. So we uh, have been watching the funds pour in to Iran right here. Biden administration releases billions to Iran weeks before the Israeli attack. This was October 8th, and you may remember it was $6 billion. All right. Remember, we were over here looking at this map. This is Turkey up here. This green area is not Turkey. Just so you know, this is Syria. Turkey has basically breached their border, and they have been there for a, quite some time. About the time the United States backed out of Syria during the uh, Kenyans administration. They now, how did we get here? Like I said, we are watching the amount of intelligence flights around that area and you go how does somebody get equipment arms you know vehicles all of this stuff with you know without being noticed palestinian authority u.s assistance is training and equipping security forces but the program needs to to um, measure progress and face uh, faces logistical constraints yeah that means when they say it faces logistical constraints. They have an issue uh, with getting the equipment to them. All right. So where do they get it out of? Jordan. Okay. 
that becomes important uh, because they just roll it right across the border there. All right. So this well, the first thing that happens is the Antichrist is now in control and he can ultimately finally do what he wants to do. He's going to march against Israel and wipe them off of the earth. He will march toward Israel. And other armies are coming toward him from the north, from the south, uh, eastern armies coming across the Euphrates River. U.S. training and arming 5,000 Palestinian Authority troops in Jordan. Remember, I just said this is how they get it in. It comes across Jordan. Date on this, April 2nd, 2023. So do you see a trend here? And then here you go. Look at this. U.S. reinstates hundreds of millions in funding to Palestinians, reversing the Trump decision. And then here, look at this. This is from March of this year. Blinken builds a Palestinian Hezbollah in the West Bank, not content with fueling street demonstrations against Bibi in Tel Aviv. The Biden administration looks to Lebanize Israel with a new U.S. funded terror army. There you have kind of a pretty steady flow painting the scene of who uh, basically got these guys going. All right. All the way back to 2010, we started putting funds into Palestinian Authority. We are trying to get them to take down the barbed wire fence and the minefields between the West Bank and the rest of Israel. All the while, we have been pumping money into the country since 2010. All the while, we've been training 5,000 Palestinian troops just in the last year in Jordan. It doesn't stop there. Palestinian Authority receives U.S. armored vehicles and weapons. That's September. That just happened a, a couple weeks ago. And so here we are. Not only are we giving them money, we're giving uh, Hamas's and Hezbollah's backers, Iran, $6 billion. And, oh, by the way, we, the U.S., is directly giving the Palestinian Authority U.S. armored vehicles. How did we get here? Right? Now you know. Okay, U.S. is behind every stinking bit of this.